A former Apple executive helped create a new pair of AI glasses that are inspired by the look of Steve Jobs. The details about them were just released. Do you want to know why these glasses were inspired by the legendary Apple co-founder and why other co-founders like that of Siri and Oculus are backing these glasses? Do you want to know how these glasses can help you in real life? and where you can buy them? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn all that and more. You'll see tons and pics and demos of these quirky and state-of-the-art glasses, how they can help you be smarter than your friends, and find out just how much they cost. There's currently an arms race brewing for who can come up with the best AI glasses. There's products like the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses and the rumored Apple Glasses, just to name a couple. But now a new player is entering the game, and that player is called the Frame AI Glasses by Brilliant Labs. Brilliant Labs is a company headed by Bobak Tavanga, a former executive at Apple. It's not just Tavaga heading up this company, though. He has an all-star team of advisors and investors at his helm. Some of the most notable are Adam Shayer, co-founder of Apple Siri, Brendan Uribe, who was the co-founder of Meta's Oculus, and John Hankey, who was the creator of the viral game Pokemon Go. Having these big names on board means a lot. Now, these glasses can do a lot of cool things. Here are some of the best examples. The frame's vision recognition, which is done via its front-facing and discrete camera, allow you to look at something, and then instantly the vision recognition intelligence will do its processing and display in text what you're looking at in real time right on the inside of the lenses. So imagine you're on vacation in San Diego and you see some famous person walking down the street. Their name is on the tip of your tongue, but you simply can't put a name to the face. With the frame glasses, that's an easy problem to solve. Simply look at the celeb discreetly and the frame glasses will do its thing. It will see who that celebrity is and find out their name via AI. It will then display their name with a brief history of who they are right on the inside lenses of the glasses. It does this with a built-in micro OLED screen that has a 640 by 400 resolution with 3000 nits of brightness, which is pretty good. Regular LED TVs usually max out at 2,500 nits. Better yet, say you're trying to lose some weight. You've got a hot date coming up and you're counting your calories like a hawk. Simply look at those fudge brownies that you're about to eat and the frame glasses will output how many calories they are right there directly on the lenses. You decide if you can control yourself at that point. I mean, AI can't do everything for you. Or what if you're on a business trip in Japan and you want to get something to eat? Simply look at the menu at the sushi bar and the frame glasses will translate the menu from Japanese to English for you live right then and there. The cool thing is that no one around you will know that you're doing this. The screen on the lens is private and only displayed to you. You want to find out more details of that cool foreign car you see parked on the street? With the frame glasses, it's as simple as looking at the car then asking a question about it. Like, what kind of car is this and how much does it cost? Then, via OpenAI's Whisper technology, the frame glasses will ask its integrated AI search engine, Perplexity, those questions for you. And within seconds, the glasses will display the answer to you. All these features are built into the frame's iOS app called Noah. Noah is the virtual AI assistant and the real-time brains behind these glasses. Every time you look something up on the glasses or translate text, for example, those requests get routed to the NOAA app and the AI logic is done there. There's another brain to these glasses as well. They have a sophisticated Lua-based operating system and its very own Corex onboard CPU. The glasses use both the NOAA app and the CPU for its smarts. Easily the best thing about NOAA is that it learns about you. The more questions you ask the glasses and the more you use its multimodal features, the more Noah tailors itself around you. So for instance, it might recognize that you're a pizza fanatic. So the next time you ask for a restaurant recommendation, it will pull up pizza places on the top of the list. These glasses are pretty cool and can do a lot of the same things that standalone devices like the Rabbit R1 or Ray-Ban AI glasses can do. But it has one killer feature that really makes it stand out from the crowd. That is, the software that runs these glasses are open source and freely available on GitHub. The founders of the company encourage developers to play around with the code and hack the glasses. This is refreshing because companies like Apple usually do the opposite and completely lock down their devices and make everything proprietary. By making the code open source, developers will find ways to make these glasses even better than they already are. 
and in ways that the founders of Brilliant Labs didn't even think about when they created them. Bravo to the frame team on this move. Another quirky thing that makes these glasses stand out from the crowd is its design. They were specifically designed to pay homage to some of the great historical figures of the past, like Steve Jobs, John Lennon, and Gandhi. All of them were similar round and iconic looking glasses. That's why the frame glasses look the way they do. But the design element that really stands out is the glasses goofy and lighthearted orange nose as seen here. Its primary function is to charge the glasses. It's a nice little element that makes these glasses fun. The frame AI glasses are available for pre-order right now and cost $350. And the first batch will be shipped on April 15th of this year. So you won't have to wait too long for this cool tech to show up on your doorstep. That's it for tonight. And if you want to learn more about cool AI products, check out my other vid, Multion AI, the Rabbit R1 Killer. If you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.